Welcome to another Five for Fun. And I'm wearing a Cleveland Cavs shirt, jersey. I don't root really wear Cleveland things. I do root for the Guardians, though. Um, we have food, food, and more food involved in our Five for Fun. Big surprise, right? So on November 4th, we have a couple's uh, evening of reflection and fun. So mass starts at five. A reflection by Deacon Michael and his wife Francine Constantini. And then there's a wine and beer tasting with some heavy hors d'oeuvres, appetizers, for every couple to enjoy. $25 uh, fee and RSVP by October 25th. Please give us a call. Well, we're going to try and cap this off at about 50 couples. So if you are interested in going, please register now uh, so that we can uh, have the RSVP and everything in place so that you can have fun, learn a little something, pray together, and enjoy the evening as a couple. On October, and the registration is due by October 25th. On October 26th, Deacon Greg and Bill Preble are going to do a presentation on the Mass. From 6.30 to 8.30, they're going to show a short video and then do a presentation on how to get more out of Mass and what's being presented to us. Pizza will be provided. 6.30, 8.30 on the 26th. So here's the more food. On October 29th, we are going to have a pancake breakfast here in our church. So it'll be after the 9 and 11 o'clock masses, just like we do for donuts. So $10 charge for adults, $5 charge for kids 12 and under. Come eat pancakes, sausage, eggs. There'll be milk, milk juice, uh, coffee, and all kinds of things to enjoy. But the best thing to enjoy is that we do it right here in our community with all the wonderful people we have to celebrate with. Not only Mass, but you really don't have to go anywhere for breakfast. So we haven't done it in a while, but the last time we did it, everybody enjoyed it. So we're gonna do it again, and then again. All right, so here's the last few things. Night of Remembrance on November 2nd. So if you lost a loved one, um, and you plan on participating, prayer service, light a candle for your loved one, have their name, uh, read or mentioned during the service and we ask that you contact Deacon Jerry if you intend to be here so that we know that we will read your loved one's name. So please contact him with your name, their name, and let us know that you'll be here. I don't know if you looked in the gathering area, but the Thanksgiving food drive, poster, collection bin, and little box is already out. So if you are looking to help someone with a Thanksgiving meal, please check out what we're collecting. Either make a donation or drop in your donation into the bins that are out there so that we can help feed families in our community, in the larger community here in our parish. So I love food and there are a lot of people who could use a donation of food to celebrate that gift, great gift of Thanksgiving, that we are giving thanks by giving something away and helping someone else who doesn't have. And we're celebrating like that first Thanksgiving feast with the pilgrims and Indians and all the rest of that stuff, or at least what they show us. So sharing the bounty of what we've received all year of God's goodness and grace this is a wonderful way to participate. Thanksgiving food drive, helping someone have a Thanksgiving meal to enjoy, like most of us remember. Please help in any way you can. If you can buy a few canned goods, if you wanna buy a turkey, or if you wanna make a con financial contribution, anything will be accepted and appreciated. We are a very generous parish, and I ask that we not only collect these things for people to have a meal, but that we also pray that they may be blessed by God and having a way of being thankful, grateful, and 
participating in what we do. You want to know a secret? We get Catholic is coming. And it's like six weeks away. And so pay attention to all those things that are coming out about it. Um, I think that what we are embarking on this year for We Give Catholic is a phenomenal way of helping share the love of God with those less fortunate and with those who want to serve God in the near future. So I'm not going to spill all the beans, but I'm going to say pay attention to We Give Catholic because it's coming soon right here to our parish. And Olivia does a wonderful job of giving us that information. So let's pay attention to see what she puts out next. That's just a little tip. Don't tell her I told you, okay? Our secret. Do you know a veteran in our parish? So Jennifer is putting together something that she's keeping secret. Um, she's just trying to collect information about honoring our veterans here in our parish. So if you are a veteran or if you know a veteran, then please let her know. If you know of anyone in active service, please let her know. Uh, give the name, if you have a picture, share a picture so that she can get her little project going. And I don't think it's little, I think it's pretty big. So help her get her project going and that we don't miss out on anyone to share that uh, those who have served, not only our parish, but our country, and helping to provide the freedom that we have to be able to worship God as he chooses. We need to give them thanks, a big thanks. So thank you, veterans, for protecting us and providing freedom by your service. But also, let's give them, give thanks to God for having them serve our country in a way that they have. Uh, we don't know the true cost of freedom, but it is something to be treasured. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you from all of us, those who have served our country. So I got, I, I was given two jokes. So you wanna hear them? So the first one is, why does Jesus drive so much? Because everyone wants him to take the wheel. All right, try not to laugh. <laughs> you know that's funny. Second, this is my favorite because it's right up my alley. Where does Jesus like to go for snacks? Mount Olive. <laughs> you might not get that one, but I do. So that's five with Father. Oh, at the information desk, there are little cards to say thank you to all those people who have made donations to our uh, parish feast day picnic raffle. So if you go to one of the establishments that made a contribution. We ask that you take one of the little thank you cards. They're at the information desk in brown and white little envelopes. Drop a thank you card so that they know that their dollars of sponsoring us actually make a difference. So let them know that you recognize that they helped us and let's just drop that for thank you. Okay. Cards are already filled out. Holy Angels Parish, and you can just share it with the, the establishment that you um, go for dinner, for um, beauty items, and all that other stuff that was going in. So please share a thank you with them from those cards that we have the information desk. That's Bible Cloud. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a terrific week, and I'll see you in church. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.